as you can tell by the title of the video. That is my stance on it. But this is a account where I talk about myself. So first off, let me just get to a few things. Right, I'm talking as if I'm talking to viewers because, you know, of course it's supposed to be like a journal, a log. Um, but I imagine this might pull in some people. I don't know. It might not. Um, but, boy, are we in store. Um, I'm grateful for uh, Attack on Titan. It was one of my, it was within one of my first 20 anime I've ever watched. And to go on record, I've only watched like 50 in total. Um, right, like I'm not like that level yet. Um, but I still know what I'm talking about and I still have developed viewpoints and reasons to, you know, do, you know, say what I say. Go for Attack on Titan because when I first watched Attack on Titan, oh my god, was it my shit. I loved it so much. First three seasons, perfect. But, you know, I I feel like most people I've talked to, I've shared the same opinion. So I guess it's kind of just the people on the internet who um, have these views. But season four of Attack on Titan is dog shit and it might be my hottest take of of any anime it might just be my hottest take to me it's completely reasonable why i feel that way um but to many other people i'll probably be told that i'm brain dead which you can say what you want but you better defend your point if you're coming here to to defend it or whatever you might be doing so I just fucking got done watching the shit, right? And then I hopped in the shower. So I watched it. I finished watching it not even, um, f okay, it was probably like 45 minutes ago when I finished watching the most recent and the final, final part of Attack on Titan. Because he had like four final seasons. He had part one of the final season, part two of the final season, part three and technically this was the part three, but you had a season that was cut in half. You had a movie and another movie. So fucking four. And I'm not gonna speak too much on the parts that are not the most recent one because this one is, is burning in my head. I can't exactly remember what happened of everything from the season four, first season, the second movie, you know, it's a bit foggy. But I remember what I remember. And I don't really know how to start into this besides it is dog shit. Um, first off, spoilers. Um, obviously. For if you are not caught up to any part of Attack on Titan, I'm talking about the very final ending of it. And yeah. So I'll start off. Because this, I was, I watched it with my friend. And me and him shared the same viewpoints, which I'm glad. Because typically we have differing opinions on shit like that. It is completely disrespectful to Attack on Titan to have made that piece of shit. It is just terrible. The first three, see, I could talk about any part of what I just watched and easily argue why I did not like it. The first three seasons of Attack on Titan, although they had their flaws, some of them, I think season two was paced a bit too fast because it was all squeezed in 12 episodes, which is fine. I'm not going to fault them on that because ultimately it's a lack of time. Um, or, you know, like wiggle room, right? They had to tell it in a certain way within 12 episodes, which I'm not going to fault them on. Those first three seasons were perfect. I fucking love them. Right. And that's what I got up to when I first watched Attack on Titan because season four hadn't existed. And I tell you, I, even back then, I did not like it at all. I did not ever like season four. 
because it is a completely different environment. And you might say, you just haven't read the manga. I haven't read the manga of Attack on Titan. But here's how I feel about it. Don't use that fucking argument on an anime. Because an anime is made to stand on its own. That's why anime exists. Because it's not just supposed to be the manga. Right? Re it kind of is. But there's a lot more room for elaboration. Uh, you know, all that. And it's just a different form of it. Right? But... I did not read the manga. But the anime should still stand on its own. So when you take into account season 1, 2, and 3. And then have a completely different fucking jump into season 4. It's terrible. It makes no sense. And even... And, I, and I'm going to get into that a bit. A bit. I'll, I'll get into it now. It never made sense to me. You know, I just wasn't able to look at every single part. I didn't read the manga. So I just didn't know every single part, why, what happened. What happened in the first part of season four was a lack of understanding on my part. I didn't read the manga. My fault for just watching a fucking anime because I like anime. Um, and they explained what they could. They had almost too much explanation. When maybe you should have had a transitioning season into what we were getting into. Instead of just trying to squeeze all that into, I believe, like 25 episodes. Um, dog shit, right? Too much explaining, but the explaining was needed. But I was still confusing it. And it's hard to like really pick a point because I really don't like any of it. So I'll go with my main thought. Okay, it might sound like I'm not prepared, but I swear to God. The final part of season four, it's just fucking terrible. It's just terrible. In any way, I can say it's terrible. There's no closure to any of the characters. You changed the fucking ending. <laughs> right, I already said fucking closure. Just everything, bro. Um, f how fast it's paced. I did not care about any of it because of the way it was told. I just hate it. Bro, okay. We're going to start with one of those points. And we're going to start with the fast-pacedness. Now, it was very fast-paced. You had to squeeze all that into an hour and 30 minutes. I understand that. And I'm not going to fault them on time constraints or, or, a, or a budget or anything. But it was way too fast paced and what happened in the process of making it so fast paced was I lacked any care for what was happening. I knew Attack on Titan and I love Attack on Titan, loved the earlier parts. Um, but that was not a good display of Attack on Titan at all. So what you ended up getting was a continuation of the season four, right? Aaron being the villain. And Aaron was fucking robotic, not literally. Not once are you given any thought as to what is happening in his mind or to as to what he's doing in this little fucking movie. You know, he's just moving in his own fucking way. Like, of course, he's about to go kill some people. Um, right? And everyone's on his fucking back. Right? Whatever. I mean, I don't even really want to get into why the fuck a creature like Aaron exists in the first place. Because it's just so stupid. But you're telling me that that Mikasa, Armin, and the rest of the gang are outmanned, out fucking tightened by like a hundred to one, and there's no fucking casualties. That's one thing. Plot armor is very fucking heavy. Reiner should have died like ten times. And here's another thing: Reiner should have died. I was saying this to my friend. Reiner in the first part of season four. He was literally telling Aaron to kill him, right? Because he, he was like thinking of what he did, all that, maybe out of fear, whatever. In that moment, it showed that he really had no reason to live, right? And him continuing 
wasn't even out of just for doing it for Marley. I don't even know what the fuck it was. But him continuing to fight against Aaron and on the side of good. I, I don't know why he did it. So to then have him live, it would have been such a great way to just have him die in a valiant way. Because although the show's ending, you have to think about a character's use. Same with Levi. Right, I hear he died in the original one. And then ultimately he was useless in this fucking movie. Which, don't get me wrong, I love Levi. He's one of the best characters in the show and he's one of the ones that never changed up how they truly were. But then you see him at the end, he's all war damaged. And his life is nothing. Right, and it's almost sad, right? He he did not die contently or in content. Nobody or he didn't even die. Nobody there's no contentness of anything. Everything feels weird to think about. Um, that whole fucking thing, because it ended so fucking weirdly. Right? It was a fuck oh my god, bro. So I have not really done my own research for this, but I hear that the other ending for the manga was that everyone died in Aaron 1. And one thing you always have to love Attack on Titan for is for its shock value and its unpredictability. There were so many fucking times when it, it, it just had so much unpredictable shit happening. Like when Aaron supposedly died in the first season, I thought it was gonna, I thought it was really fucking true, right? Because it was just coming out to be the kind of anime that really leaves you on the edge of your seat and you don't know what'll fucking happen next. Like Reiner and Bertolt secretly being against everyone the whole fucking time. I loved so much of that shock that they had and, and all that. And they displayed none of that. There were no shocks except for Kenny, um, I'm not Kenny, Levi on a whim just killing fucking <laughs> um, Zeke. Which is crazy because my friend was saying, oh, it's on site for Kenny, for Levi and Zeke. And I was like, nah, they're definitely going to like, like fight together for a little bit until everything's solved. Bro, I said, $50 says it's not on site. And he said, 25 I was like, 25 And bro, next second he chops his fucking head off. I was like, god fucking damn it. So now I owe him $25, which is fine. And... There was everything, what bothers me the most, everything was like a fairy tale and nothing ended how it should have ended, right? Mikasa. Now that was sad. That's the only emotion that they got out of me in that entire an hour and a half, which is sad, which means they did something wrong. And again, that might have came from how fast paced it was or the just overall change in what's been happening. Maybe I just couldn't connect with it, but I think that would have been for everyone. Well, unless maybe I really loved Attack on Titan. Um, but I didn't just come in here to hate, or I didn't go into that movie going in there to hate. Um, animation, I really don't want to fault them on animation, but I have to. With Jujutsu Kaisen, if you've seen Jujutsu Kaisen, it goes stupid. And my problem with Jujutsu Kaisen is... The animation is inconsistent because they blow all their fucking budget on certain important parts. Both openings are done insanely well. I would rather just an anime be nicely framed. It doesn't have to be the most beautiful. Just nicely framed. No lazy parts. There's just been complete parts in Jujutsu Kaisen where I want to... I don't know. It's so disgusting to look at because it's like they didn't even try. And with Attack on Titan, right, given, given the budget of Jujutsu Kaisen... And them being made by the same people uh, as Attack on Titan currently. 20% of the fucking movie is CGI. Which bothers me. Right? They did it with all fucking parts of Attack on Titan. And I understand the Titans might not be the easiest to draw. But uh, the studio that originally had Attack on Titan. Uh, and was making it into an anime. They did perfectly fine. Right, everything felt choppy, nothing felt right. Again, fast paced. So overall, the fast pacedness, the fucking shit, I'm just gonna call it shit animation, lazy, um, and lack of emotion 
right, ultimately made the movie itself like nothing to me. But then if you pick apart the contents of it, hold up. Here's just how I feel, right? I cannot speak on the plot of the story, but this is how I fucking feel. Aaron never showed to ever care about Mikasa, really. If you think back when they were in the field and Aaron's mom in Titan form was coming to kill him after he had killed Hans, right? And Mikasa was saying all that. She's like, he wrapped this scarf around me. Aaron did not give a fuck. He stood up, right? She basically like, was like, we're dying, right? I love you. She didn't say it exactly. And he still stood up and he showed that he really only cared about killing titans and that's the feel that i got from the entire show of attack on titan and then at the end in a fucking dreamland you never actually see aaron himself talk it's in like flash forwards of a reality that could have happened or that mikasa or armin wish happened but never truly did um, I do believe it's truly Aaron speaking, but he was like, I did all this for Mikasa while crying, but he never showed it the whole time. So to say that he truly did that when literally everything pointed to suggest that he did it because of a true hate for Titans. They killed his fucking mother, him wanting to be free. Nothing he said or did ever showed that he did it for Mikasa. And then you're just going to say some bullshit like i did it all for her no and then ultimately he was like i don't know why i did any of this i don't know why i decided to kill 80 percent of the population i don't know i was just an idiot so you're telling me that whole direction that i hated that they took going into season four was all like for no fucking reason you know I would have preferred it be a more generic anime. What I mean is you start off a certain way. You show a goal maybe in the first season like Aaron wanting to be free and stop Titans and follow through to that in that same trajectory. I would have preferred it be a more generic anime like that. Like um, boom, rising action, climax, boom. Instead of it being you're going up one way. And then you you cut that fucking mountain in half. And then you throw it away. No, no. And then you go above the mountain. And then you go up higher. Right? No. Like, not just, like, connected to the mountain. Like, you cut it in half. Or no, you split it like that. And then you go, like, over here and then up. And then you go up with the new fucking plot. That now Aaron's saying he doesn't know why he did it. It's just some fucking bullshit. Right? And it was... Oh my god. One thing I truly hated about that whole fucking thing is the way that they made Aaron out to be. Aaron was always the main character. Maybe not in this movie. But season one through three, he was the main character. And there really was no main character in... When I say main character, I mean the person we follow. Um, there really was no main character in season four, I'd say. But we always followed Aaron. And in Aaron, I said this a little bit. Aaron was fucking robotic. They gave no insight as into what he's thinking, which is fine. But it was like he didn't even exist until Mikasa cut his head off. Because that was the only time that he actually looked at somebody. Um, because when he's in the fucking big... Well, I don't even know what it's called. It's not even a Colossal Titan. The fucking big bony Titan. He didn't look at anybody. Right? He didn't react to anybody. He was just like a fucking robot. The whole time, they did no justice to Aaron at all. Not even explain why he did what he did until afterwards where he just said he did it because he's a fucking idiot. Right? Not to mention, there are several directions where they took the anime, which I don't like. And, and let me just touch on this. I, I did a little bit. I do not... No, I despise going in different ways from the original content. So I hear that a ton of people 
I did not like the original ending of Attack on Titan in the manga. Now, I've never read the manga, and I'm here for the anime. But manga is the originator. And I don't like how a ton of people can cry that Levi is dead. Um, and cry about the ending because it's realistic, which I've always loved Attack on Titan for. I would have loved to have an ending where Aaron just killed everybody. Because that's what I loved Attack on Titan for. It's, it's shock. It's unpredictability. I would have fucking loved that more than some fairy tale type shit. So when you go against the original works idea, even if the, the manga artist himself decided to, that feels almost disrespectful, right? Even though he himself did it. But I don't think you should go back and write your mistakes because ultimately that is how the story came to be. And right again, I don't like this fairy tale shit. And there's so many fucking things, right? Nobody died. That's why I call it a fucking fairy tale. Nobody died when they should have died, except for fucking Zeke. Why Zeke? Reiner should have died. Levi should have died. Right? These people, mainly them two, who I feel have served their purpose, don't even need to be alive anymore. Right? Maybe just go out with a final fucking bang and make them living meaningful. Right? Instead of Reiner dying like 15 fucking times in the goddamn movie, he was under attack so many times regenerated like that or titan shifted again just like that right he's being surrounded he's holding back some giant worm which is aaron's fucking titan spinal cord he's holding it back when it's wriggling and there's like fucking 50 titans trying to, to get to reiner he does not at all come close to fucking death somehow even though he's injured, but like, you know, he's not going to die. And you're telling me that some C4 or explosives or whatever is enough to blow off a 1000 foot tall, I believe, Aaron Titan's head. Some fucking C4 or whatever kind of explosives those. I don't give a fuck what kind of explosives were. It was that easy. So you're telling me that a party of less than 15, I don't know how many people, a party of less than 15 could defeat armies of skilled titan shifted forms. It fucking beats me. And then blow off Aaron's head. And then for Aaron to come back as a titan the same size as um, Armin. And then start fist fighting him. Aaron is the fucking attack titan. And you're telling me that Armin's going blow for blow with him. When Armin's about as useless as a fucking log. Armin is so fucking useless. And bro, he was crying. Like bro, he's smart. But what he lacks is experience. And he's not even that smart to be honest. Whenever they tried to make Armin out to be smart. I always just thought of it as an attempt to make him out to be smart. But it was more of a show. Uh, a tell don't show. Right? Like, they were trying to show it, but to me it felt more like they were trying too hard to make Armin be the smart character. And in that, I feel like a lot of obligation fell on him, especially him living instead of Erwin for whatever fucking reason. Um, pointless as fuck, because Armin's useless. He gets uh, put in the mouth of one of the fucking titan-shifted things, some goat-looking motherfucker. And then he starts crying... Like, bro, you're a bitch. Armin's fucking useless, bro. Like, I'm just being realistic. There is nothing that I liked about it. Because ultimately, there was no closure that I got. I felt so weird after watching it. Right? It's, it's like you're in a moment. And if you ever question if you're dreaming. Because that's how crazy it, it is. Or outside of the norm. It just felt so weird, and it's such a fucking shame, and I'm sad that the anime is over. It's always sad when an anime, like, finishes, because even though you might get frustrated with waiting for an anime, at least in my case, you might get frustrated waiting for an anime, even years it might take, um, but ultimately, you enjoy it, you enjoy that the anime gets to have its run so long instead of just maybe being done in 30 minutes um, or
or you know they drop three seasons at once and then the show's over right there's no time to really fall in love with what you're watching and right that's why i just love anime um but regardless i think they really did attack on titan dirty everything after season three i i cannot stand and you know, maybe I was wrong. Maybe maybe I could rewatch season four, like the first season part. But watching that movie really instilled exactly what I was saying about the first part of season four. That showed me I was right. Even though I can't exactly remember what I can fault for season four, the first part. That movie showed me exactly why I, di I disliked everything that I disliked. And it was so fucking pointless, so many parts of it. I can't stand how they did Attack on Titan. It's not even fair. But I disliked so many more parts of it. The only part that made me feel any emotion. Right? Like, I like I won't lie. I was hyped at some parts. I was like, fuck them up, Armin. Fuck them up when they're going blow for blow. That ultimately, it's just crushed with some stupid ass shit. The only time I... F it's when... Mikasa was at uh, Aaron's grave and she was just sitting with him. And then I saw at the end that she might have like gotten married. And like I looked in the comments and they said no, she's not a wedding. Uh, and I, yeah, I think I saw her with John. And I think she had a kid. I don't think she would. She lived for Aaron. Um, she, he's the reason she's alive. He's the reason she wanted to live. And yeah, ultimately that's the only thing I can say that I liked, but still I really don't like the direction that they took everything. And especially going as far as to say Mikasa and his love for Mikasa, which, oh my God, it was so undying, so much undying love, uh, you know, obviously. You know, that's definitely the reason he did everything for her. Not because he strongly hated Titans. Bro, everything suggested or pointed to the fact that he hated Titans through and through. Everything pointed to it, and that's why he did everything. And then ultimately, he's like, I did it all for Mikasa, and I'm just an idiot for wanting to kill 80% of the population. You're, you are a fucking idiot. And whoever made that, that ending, no. And whoever liked that movie... I'm sorry. You are a dick rider or you are too young to to actually understand what something good is. When I first got into anime, I won't lie, I didn't have too much of an opinion on things. I thought everything was good. I'm a lot more developed in my thoughts now. And, oh my God, it's terrible. So you're either, you're either too young, you're either too new into anime and don't know how to judge, be a good judge of character, or you're a fucking dick rider. Uh, all of which is not good. It's just not. Bro, disagree with me all you want. I'd love to debate in the comments if anyone ever fucking watches this. If not, that's alright. Yeah, bro. I mean, now I'm gonna get back into my log shit. I'm not trying to make it run on too much longer. But bro, I was at the gym today and I was like, bro. Well, when I had my pump. When I had a pump. So it was like arms today. I was like, Damn. My arms looking fucking bigger than they ever looked before. I was feeling myself, bro. It's a little flex right there. Yeah, I've been feeling great, man. And, um... Yeah, can't wait to get even bigger. Nope. Kind of play second place on Duolingo. Because I was too preoccupied with things to fucking beat the dude who took my first place i was thinking about it earlier because he took my first place earlier today and i was like boom at, at 7 p.m it activates happy hour right which gives you a five percent extra i don't know five uh xp points extra per lesson you do and then plus i'm gonna activate my fucking night hour reward or no my my early bird reward which would give me double XP, and then I forgot all about it. I got out of the shower, and I was like, is there still, there might still be time, it's before 12, and I was like, nah. I think I've been recording this for like 30 fucking minutes. Fuck Attack on Titan, bro. It's such a shame, because I, I, I can't even explain it. 
I love the Attack on Titan. And the direction it went in, it's such a shame. Even if I liked the direction that Attack on Titan went, even if I didn't have any arguments about that. Overall, it is a big piece of dog shit as a production. Too fast-paced. I didn't care at any fucking points because you didn't make me care. There was no emotion that I actually could empathize with or anything. When Armin started crying, I laughed. I don't give a fuck. I did not care. Um, and that's ultimately because of just a terrible idea. Don't know how it got through. Don't know how it, you know, whatever. Have people die. Ryder doesn't need to live. Levi don't doesn't need to live. I love Levi. At least get rid of Ryder. I was just thinking it makes sense if Ryder died in the Valley War. Ultimately, nothing came from it. And the only thing that is, uh, co like, confirmed almost after everything, you know, as far as characters, is that they're all now, like, kind of head of the new city or, or country that they're going to live. And, and that Mikasa will always be bent over, you know... You know, missing Aaron and all that. I think she will miss him for eternity. That's like the only sense of direction you get as to what is left. And then there was a teaser at the end, I think. I don't know if that'd be a spinoff. Uh, Attack on Titan 2. Probably face, you know, it'd probably have different people. But honestly, after seeing that, I don't even, I don't want the series to continue. You can make it related but i don't even want to think about it being related to attack on titan bro you make it the same universe just don't make it knowable because bro that really oh my god that turned me off from attack on titan. oh my god that's so fucking bad so bad i'm gonna head out peace